Prime factors, model answers. Let's go through our first question. What are the prime factors of the number 85? And this is typically a one mark question. Now I like to begin this by writing down the first few prime numbers. So I'm going to write them over here. The first one is 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. It's just good practice to go through this. So let's write down our number 85 and using our factor tree which number is it divisible by? Starting with the smallest, 2. Now 85 cannot be divided by 2 because 85 is an odd number. So then we move on to the next highest prime number which is 3. Now 85 can it be divided by 3? Well, you can quickly work this out. Let's write it down here. 85 divided by 3. 3 is into 8 is 2. Remainder, 2. 3 is into 25 is 8, but we have remainder 1. Therefore, it cannot be divided by 3. So now we move on to the next prime number, which is 5. Now, because 85 ends with a 5, we know that it can be divided by 5. So what is, and we can show some workings out, what is 85 divided by 5? Well, 5's into 8 is 1, remainder 3. And 5's into 35 is 7. There are no remainders. So now we have the number 17. Now, even though we didn't write this down in our prime numbers list, 17 is the next prime number. Therefore, we have worked out the prime factors of the number 85. It is 5 and 17. 17 cannot be divided any further. So the prime factors of number 85 are 5, times 17. Those are the two prime numbers, the two smallest prime numbers, that when multiplied give the answer 85. And for that we're going to give ourselves a tick. Now let's move on to our second question. What are the prime factors of the number 148? Now again, this is a one mark question. So let's go through this. Number 148 Now because it's an even number, we know that we can divide this by the number 2. 148 divided by 2 is well, 14 divided by 2 is 7, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So we have the number 74. Now, 74 is also an even number, so we can divide this by 2. 74 divided by 2, I'm sure you can do this in your head, the answer is 37. If not, you can show some workings out and go through this. Now, have a look at the number 37. 37 is not divisible by any other number apart from itself and 1. 37 is in fact a prime number, as are the numbers 2 here and the 2 here. Therefore, the prime factors of number 148 are 2 times 2 we're just taking all the numbers that we have circled times 37. Now it is possible that you may be given a two marks for this. If you're given two marks, they may be asking you to simplify this. So the 2 times 2 becomes 2 to the power of 2. 
So therefore the answer becomes 2 to the power of 2, or 2 squared, times 37. Oops, 37. And that is our answer. The prime factors of number 148 are 2 squared times 37. Now let's move on to our third question. What are the prime factors of 495? Now this is typically a one mark question. It could be a two mark question. If it is, make sure you show all the workings out. We're going to begin this one by writing our prime numbers. Two, three, 5, 7, 11, and 13. So let's write down our number 495. Now 495, is that divisible by 2? The answer is no, because it's an odd number. Can we divide it by 3? So let's show some workings out. 495 divided by 3. So how many 3 is going to 4? The answer is 1, carry 1. 3 is into 19 is 6, carry 1. 3 is into 15 is 5. There are no remainders, so 495 can be divided by 3. And what we left over is 165. We've just worked that out. Now the number 165, can that be divided by 2? The answer is no, because it's an odd number. Can it be divided by 3? Well, let's work it out. 165 divided by 3. Now 3 is into 1 is 0. We carry the 1. 3 is into 16. The answer is 5. Remainder 1. 3 is into 15 is 5. There are no remainders. So 165 can be divided by 3, and we are left with 55. Now moving on to the number 55. Again, it cannot be divided by 2 because it is an odd number. Can it be divided by 3? Well, the answer is no. The next prime number is 5. Can it be divided by 5? Well, we know it can. It's in the 11 times table. 55 divided by 5 is 11. 11 is also a prime number. So we have reached the end of our factor tree. Now we're just going to circle all of the prime factors. And we're going to write it down over here. The prime factors of number 495 are 3 times 3 times 5 times 11. Now we can simplify this. We've got two threes, so we can write this down as 3 to the power of 2. Therefore the answer becomes 3 squared, or 3 to the power of 2, times 5 times 11. Now because of all the workings out on this, there is a possibility this could be a, instead of it being a one mark question, it could even be a two mark question. If you show the workings out and get the right answer, you will get both marks. Now let's have a look at our fourth question. What are the prime factors of 420? Now typically this would be a two mark question. I'm going to begin by writing down the prime numbers. We've got two, three, five, seven, eleven, and thirteen. So number 420.
Now, 420 ends with a zero, so it's an even number. We know that that can be divided by 2. 420 divided by 2 is, well, that's quite easy, it's 210. Now, 210 is also an even number, so that can be divided by 2 as well. So 210 divided by 2 is 105. Again, nice and easy. Now, 105 is an odd number. It cannot be divided by 2. Let's have a look at the number 3. Let's write this down. 105 divided by 3. So 3 is into 1 are 0. Carry over the 1. 3 is into 10 is 3. Carry 1. 3 is into 15 are 5. No remainders. So 105 can be divided by 3 with no remainders. And we are left with 35. That's something we've just worked out. Now 35 is an odd number, so it cannot be divided by 2, and it cannot be divided by 3. It's not in the 3 times table. What about 5? Well, if it ends in a 5 or a 0, we know that it can be divided by 5. 35 divided by 5 is 7, and 7 is also a prime number. So we have found all the prime factors of the number 420. 2, 2, oops, 3, and 5, and the last one over here is 7. So therefore, the prime factors of number 420 are 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. Now the 2 times 2 over here we can simplify that to 2 to the power of 2. So to simplify it we can write down 2 to the power of 2 or 2 squared times 3 times 5 times 7. And that is our answer. The prime factors of the number 420 is 2 squared times 3 times 5 times 7. If you show all of those workings out, you will get both marks.